So now what I'm gonna do is add in a home component, um, mainly because we want something to handle that, that first page on our site instead of video list component. I want it to be home component. So to do this, I'm gonna go ngg component, and then I'll just call it home. Press enter, and it creates my home component. So inside of that home component, I have all of the component classes as we might expect, and it should already be in our module, and it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna bring it into my routing module, and I'm gonna put it above the video list one, and just add in that home component. So now our home page is just a little bit different because we're gonna make it look a little bit more like an app should. Okay, so we've got that. And then the next portion of this is going back into my module. I'm gonna just kind of reorganize how these are imported. I like them in alphabetical order. Um, so that's the reason I'm doing this. Okay, um, much like the app already does it in alphabetical order too. So that's another thing to note. Okay, so now that we've got this, um, let's go ahead and look at our home component. We can just look at it uh, loaded. It should load um, after we do ng serve, of course. So I'll let that load for a moment. While that's loading, we are going to be adding in a carousel. This is a common thing that you'll see on web pages, and it's really simple. It's much like what we've already seen. Again, going back into our local host, we see that our home page is working. Um, so I'm gonna add in a Jumbotron. No, actually, we'll, we'll skip the Jumbotron for now and we'll actually add in just the carousel component. So much like we did with Bootstra the uh, dropdown module, we add in the carousel module into our app module. So uh, I'm gonna put it right below this because of alphabetical. You don't have to be as alphabetical crazy as I am, but I think it's a good idea. Um, and I'm gonna keep these together as far as imports, uh, imports are concerned. And we call it NGX Bootstrap, right? There we go, okay, so now I've got my carousel module. Let's go back and take a look at the, the example. Look how simple it is, right? You can also have optional captions. Again, very, very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm just going to um, bring it into my home component and just put that. So I've got my carousel there, I'm saving that and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh in here. Of course, it's not actually working because I don't have those images, right? So it's showing me assets, images, nature. So if I went in assets and I'm gonna do a new folder in here called images and another new folder in here called nature and then I'll add in four, five, and six. So to add in there, um, I'm gonna use the internet. And there's a photographer that I really like, his name's Chris Burkhard, uh, makes a lot of cool nature photography, which is good, because that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go here and just go view image, and then I'm gonna save this image on to my project, of course. So back into dev and our actual project, ng serve up, client, source, assets, images, nature, and I'm gonna call this five. So I change it as five, and I'm gonna do a few more um, and pause the video and then just come back when they're done. Okay, now I have six images in here. Oops, I'm gonna rename this one. Um, let's make sure that our, our uh, JPEGs are all lowercased. I'm just gonna make sure the name is actually lowercased. So let's reveal this in Finder. It looks like it's not wanting to change it, so I'm gonna change it to 7.jpg, there we go. Because when you change it to one, um, or you just change the extension, it might not actually change the file name. Okay, so now we've got a few images in here and I've got four to six. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Um, I'm gonna go look back at my project and there we go. So we actually have these images coming through. Uh, of course, they're they're not all the same size, so, so the carousel changes ever so slightly. So if I added some like let's go ahead and add a class and say IMG size or IMG um, main carousel, get rid of size. I'll just add that class to each one of these images. And I'll also um, just say maximum width for each or maximum height for these. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this 
go back into my CSS and we'll just do max um, height being 500 pixels. Save that, refresh, and then now they'll all be the same height. Okay, so the, the width is not the same on each one of them, but it's at least showing me generally how this might work. Um, so what I also wanna do is let's try margin zero auto, save that. And that's not actually changing the size or the location of the carousel item itself because I actually want this in the middle. So inside of this class of active, I'm gonna do text align center. And there we go. So that actually allows it to happen. So going back into my home component, I'm just gonna say carousel and I'll do add a class to carousel and I'll call it text center. Text center is a class for bootstrap. Uh, and now I refresh and everything's looking a little bit better, right? So I can also make the size of the carousel a little bit smaller. I don't have to make it be that full width. So we do this using more bootstrap. So we can do div class equals to column small six, and then I'll do column small offset three. We'll see what that does in a second. I save that, a refresh, and now we have um, a carousel that's working a little bit more accurately to what we want, right? So it looks like all of them are the same size. Um, they are all image responsive. That is, they are changing with the actual carousel that it's working with. That's, I believe, a default to these carousels. Um, if you find something different, then let us know. But that's it. So that's actually adding in this carousel. So now that we've got that, let's actually think about adding in that Jumbotron again. Going into Components and clicking on Jumbotron, we're gonna add this part in. And again, it's just a div class of Jumbotron. So I'm gonna add it above the um, column classes. I want that to be its parent. So we save that, we refresh in here. Uh, it's not looking like we want it to. So I'll say div class equals to container and then add that in, save that. Still not doing anything. And then finally div class equals to row Save that, I'm gonna tab the row and uh, div class in a little bit. And there we go. So now it's actually working. Um, the reason that you need those things is because typically when you put column small six, you have to put it in a row. And typically when you use a row, you either put it into a container or another row or other columns. But basically this is the syntax for it. Jumbotron, container, row, blah, blah, blah. So we could do container fluid And in this case, it's not actually changing anything the, uh, for us. So that means that we could change the location of this and all that, um, but I'm gonna leave it as this. So if I wanted a more fluid um, actual carousel, I would change this to being 12, save that, refresh, and now that carousel's a little bit further along. And of course, if I didn't want the Jumbotron at all, I can really just get rid of container and Jumbotron and just do something like that. And now it's going nice and aligned with the sides here. And again, that's gonna depend on the image that you're using for these carousels. The next thing that I wanna do is actually have this, have a, a button that looks like you're over it, right? So the carousel hover, I want it to actually have the item, right? So carousel right and carousel left I want it to have a pointer is the is what I'm getting at. So we go into styles.css, carousel right, and I'll say cursor, pointer, and I'll do that same thing for left. Save that, refresh, and now when I go over the sides, it will show me that I can actually click it. That little pointer is kind of nice. But of course, I don't need to repeat myself here. I can just add a comma, save that, and it should work again. Okay, cool. Um, so that is now working. The, the next thing that I wanna try is linking the images as well as the text. So let's go ahead and link it. And I'm just gonna put a little link below it as a button. So I'll do button class equals to BTN and BTN default. Uh, or we could just use an A class, that's okay. href equals to 
And in this case, I'll just have it go videos slash video dash one. We close off that A tag and we'll say video one. And we close off the P tag. I'm gonna go ahead and add this on each one. Save that. Refresh there. If I click on it, it takes me there, All right? Uh, so what about the image? Can we actually link the images themselves? So I go ahead and put that A tag around the image. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the classes for it because we don't want a class on those images. And again, on each image, I'm gonna just wrap it just to test some things out. Because practically you probably would have an image there. Save that, and now I can actually click on any given video or any given image, and it will take me there too. So all of those things are working fine. Uh, notice I can also press these little little buttons there. Um, all of it is there. It's working. It's actually it, it, an example of what we can do with our carousel and with NGX Bootstrap. Um, I, I realize like I did a lot of like sort of mundane things in this, but. What you see is the examples that they give you are really comprehensive. There, there's not a whole lot that you need to do to change these examples from working. So that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it. If you have any questions on what it is that we did here, please let us know. Yes, there are a lot of customizations that you can do in here. Um, and then there's also ways to kind of control click events and stuff like that. But we, we just haven't really touched that yet. Um, so we will definitely come back to more event type of driven things that especially if you're coming from JavaScript. Um, but for now, we have a site that's looking a little bit closer to what we might want to see. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.